with Amado self-service API, now you can offer and book cars and transfer to serve your travelers. In cars and transfer APIs, you can book private transfer or share transfer taxis or even it offers an airport express train and bus and even helicopters and private jet that you can book. This will help your travel application to have more complete travel journey that you can offer in your application services. The step to book cars and transfers are super simple, same as flights and hotel, which require only two steps. Let's have a look. So this is the developers.amadeus.com website, the portal. So here, if you can click the product in self-service APIs, now you can see the new catalogs available, cars and transfers. So if you click it, you can see the three APIs are available. I will go through one by one with the postman uh, to go through the booking flow. As I mentioned in our portal, I told you that we have three APIs for cars and transfer. So the first one is a transfer search API. This is to literally search your transfer from the starting point and the end point then you will be able to see the list of the cars and transfer from this end point and the second step is to book so it's a called transfer booking api that you will be able to see this offer id from transfer search api the first one so you will be able to book a transfer with that offer id in the path don't forget all the APIs are in the post so you need also body to request this API there's a last one which is a transfer management API this is to in case you want to cancel the transfer you will be able to use this API with order ID that you get from the booking API and also the confirmation number that you get from the booking API so don't forget you need two indicator in order to cancel transfer with transfer management api so let's take a look with postman now we're in the postman so as you can see we restructured the category so now you can see cars and transfer endpoints here as i mentioned we have three apis which is all the post method so let me authorize first to start requesting our api so I authorize it. So let's have a look from the transfer search first, which is the first step to book the flight, uh, book the transfer. So here, this is a transfer search API. As I mentioned, this is the post. So we need a body to request this API. And as you can see, we have put all the long body as an example to include all the possible field that you need to, you can put, but in fact, the only mandatory field is start location code and start date and time and end locations. So here, for example, what we have put as an example here is start location code CDG, which is the Paris, the Charles de Gaulle airport. And we're gonna, we want to go, so we want to book the transfer from the Paris Air Charles de Gaulle airport to the Paris city, like city center in Paris in this address and I want to book the tr private transfer with this date and time with this private code for two passenger and I want to stop over in this first and also we can provide flight uh, information in order to search uh, so for example I am like whoever the tra traveler is gonna fly with this flight and then he's gonna arrive in this time into this airport and we can even give the give, give the information details about the passenger so as we mentioned we have a two passengers requesting so one is the age 20 and one is 10 which is child let's try to request it so if you request it you can see that there are lots of ids are returned that you're gonna have a look so in each id there is a transfer type which I request private and which is the starting time that as I requested and ended this is the location that I have requested and here the details of the information of a vehicle is returned so it's gonna be Mercedes which has six seats and this is the information about the service provider and there is a price information so I can see that the total price is 
52.9 plus 5.29 and there is also cancellation information that you can have a look and importantly the method of payments are here so either you can book this transfer with credit card or invoice that we are going to put this information into the next api so let's try to book with the next api which is transfer booking so if i click transfer booking so first in the endpoint we have already the transfer offer id that we have grabbed it from the response of transfer search so you don't need to copy and paste in manual for your testing and also don't forget this is a post so we need a body so in this body you need to give uh, details about the information about the passengers and also payment method so here we have provide the passenger information and agency information which like handling this traveler's information or who are booking this transfer which is you and your company and you can even put the extra services and also the, as an additional information this is not mandatory but you can also provide the star connected segment so for example okay i wanna i'm traveling with the flight this flight and arriving in the chardogo airport and after the transfer there is another journey another segment that i need to fly for example there's i need i have a flight at the end of this journey here you can even put extra services for example this is wt like uh, waiting time extra waiting time or you can put the driver preferred language so that you can request the specific language for them to speak etc so let's try to book it so i will just gonna send as we already hard coded the offer id from the previous api so now we see the result under the data that now we have a references which is pnr same as the passenger name record from the flights and now we have uh, this order id which is important like the this is the id that you have just booked and all the passengers and traveler uh, passengers information that we have provided and transfer as you can see is confirmed and we have this confirmation numbers remember and we have this uh, credit card that we have put for two ordered all the journey details that we have seen in the booking api query is already there so check double check the price which is the same as what we have checked before so that's it this is how you booked you just book the transfer for your travelers and here as a last step no this is an extra step so in case you want to cancel the transfer you need to use the transfer management but don't forget that we in self-service api we don't have a, uh, we don't offer the endpoint to retrieve the transfer that you have booked so meaning if once you booked your transfer you need to remember this order id and confirmation numbers by yourself and in order to cancel it you go to the transfer management remember we have this endpoint so in this endpoint as you can see we have this transfer order id that we have get from transfer booking and at the end of the endpoint you need to put the transfer confirmation number so in, in postman it has been already hard coded and even though this is a post the body is not required so as it is already hard coded all the ids and number let's try to shoot so result now yet yeah, the confirmation id that we have just received from the booking has been cancelled successfully so you won't be able to retrieve this information again that's it so this is how you use the cars and transfer apis in very high level if you want to know more details don't forget to check our portals and developer guides we have even sdks for you to easily try our apis subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video